Emma doesn't have combos that require a sequence of complex button press, but it has quite a few powerful movesets that can synergize with each other very well. Today, I will introduce a few ways to combine those movesets and deal big damage with Hammer. I will explain everything on PlayStation DualShock 4 controller and then show you the button press on other controllers. Let's cover some basic moves first. Hammer has two modes, base mode, indicated by a yellow hammer icon next to the sharpness bar, and the strength or courage mode, based on the switch skill equipped, indicated by a purple hammer. In strength mode, you can charge your hammer by pressing down R2. It has three levels of charge. You will do different attack when releasing R2 at each level of charge. But most of the time, you only want to use the second level charger attack. Or the third level charger attack. In Courage mode, you don't have to press down R2 to charge, you can chain R2 attack by pressing them constantly. The first two attacks have their own two level of charges. The third attack is the strongest and the end of combo. You can switch between yellow and purple mode by pressing down R2 plus circle. When you switch from purple to yellow, if you keep R2 pressed down, you will get a level 3 charge immediately. In yellow mode, if you release R2 at the third level of charge while moving, you will do spinning plunging. This is very bad attack, leaving you vulnerable which you shouldn't be using unless necessary. But knowing how to trigger it will help you to know how not to do it. In any mode, if you keep pressing circle and all hits lands on monster, you will do your highest damage combo, Big Bang. But this is a very long combo and should only be used when monster is down. Now with those out of the way, let's talk about the first combo. First of all, in courage mode with water strike equipped. Water strike is a counter scale, counter timing has a bit delay after pressing the button, so you should press the button roughly half second before the hit lands on you. If counter is successful, press circle to up spring, followed by R2 to charge. You will be immediately put into third level of charge. Or you can either do impact crater or release R2 to do the third level charge attack. If monster is down, you can follow up with R2 circle circle into big bang combo. This combo is very good for opening a fight with countering monster's roll. Now we switch to strength mode, equip keeping sway. In this mode your most powerful attack is level 3 charge attack in stationary. But it's difficult to find openings. The idea is keep your full charge and use keeping sway to wait incoming attack. After that, punish with level 3 charge, now quickly switch stance, you have level 3 charge. Don't release R2, press down L2 and circle, use impact crater on monster's head. Fully charged impact crater also deal additional damage. Additionally, instead of impact crater, you can also use spinning blunging by moving towards monster and release R2 after switch to yellow. When you spin to fourth attack, press triangle to do spinning strong upswing and quickly follow up with two circle input to go straight into big bang finisher. Now let's link everything together. Charge your hammer to full. Keeping sway to evade attack. Release R2. And quickly switch stance. Move towards monster, release R2, triangle, and follow up with circle circle. This will be your highest damage combo.
There you have it, some of the best way to combine different movesets of hammer to deal big damage. In my opinion, knowing monster's movement is crucial in improving hammer skill. Be sure to practice. Please stay tuned for more Monster Hunter Rise Guide. Thanks for watching and see you next time.